Snakes on a farm? Believe it or not, raising millions of them is a billion dollar business in China. Because of their venom. One gram of venom is $5,000. These slithering stars aren't just for fancy handbags, though that's part of it. They're also raised for their meat, venom, and even medicine. This is an LK Bennett snake skin shoulder bag. Curious how it works, and what exactly is snake on a plate like? Join us as we discover how Chinese farmers make dollar one billion harvesting millions of snakes. China's agricultural landscape boasts a unique player. Millions of snakes slithering across vast farms. This isn't a scene from a horror movie, but a booming billion dollar industry dedicated to snake farming. Snake farming in China has witnessed explosive growth. From experimental farms in the late 2000s, the industry now produces high quality protein on a massive scale. The scale of operations varies from small family run plots with a few hundred snakes to large scale commercial farms housing tens of thousands. Southern China is a hub for snake farming, with Zisikiao village in Zhejiang province standing out. This snake village boasts around 800 residents employed in the industry, raising a staggering 3 million snakes annually. The revenue generated by just a handful of these enterprising farmers can reach a massive $12 million per year. The impact extends beyond China's borders. Snake products find their way across the globe, reaching countries like the United States, Germany, Japan, and South Korea. This global demand is driven primarily by Asia's burgeoning middle class with its growing interest in snake meat, venom, and traditional medicine. Snake farming is not as straightforward as you may think. It actually involves a lot of meticulous research. Farmers delve into snake breeding practices, choosing the most suitable breeding females. They carefully study snake diets to ensure optimal health and growth. Additionally, incubation techniques are constantly refined to maximize egg survival rates, leading to a thriving snake population. Some snake species are particularly well-suited for farming due to their rapid growth, early maturity, and high reproduction rates. Now, a bit of history. Snake farming in Asia has seen a significant rise in the past decade. Interestingly, the residents of Zisikiao village have been raising snakes since the 1980s, showcasing a long tradition in this unique agricultural practice. The 1990s witnessed a surge in demand for snakes and snake products, fueled by the expanding wealthy middle class in Asia and their growing taste for luxury goods like snakeskin handbags. Southern China is the undisputed leader in snake farming, with Zisikiao village standing out as the undisputed snake village and the country's premier center for this industry. China's snake farms house a fascinating array of species. At least six snake species listed under the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, CITES, are commercially farmed on government registered farms. The most commonly cultivated species include monocled cobra, Naja kauthia, Chinese cobra, Naja atra, oriental rat snake, Pityas mucosus, and king cobra, Ophiophagus hanna. Beyond these well-established farm staples, researchers have even identified new snake species with unique features, like the recent discovery of a brightly colored snake with a yellow neck collar in Hunan province. China's snake farming industry shows no signs of slowing down, with more research, innovative breeding practices, and a growing global demand, this sector is expected to continue to succeed. However, challenges remain. Concerns over animal welfare, sustainability, and the potential impact on wild snake populations require careful consideration. As the industry evolves, 
Striking a balance between economic benefits and responsible practices will be crucial. Since we mentioned breeding, let's take a closer look. How exactly are snakes bred and how are they taken care of? Join us in the next chapter as we look into breeding and farming practices for snakes. Gone are the days of simply throwing male and female snakes together. Modern Chinese snake farming involves meticulous research to understand each species' breeding behavior. Breeders carefully select females with optimal breeding potential and investigate dietary factors that maximize reproductive success. This meticulous approach focuses on one crucial element, maximizing egg survival rates. Multiple incubation techniques cater to the specific needs of different snake species. Traditional incubators maintain stable temperatures and humidity, mimicking the natural environment where the eggs would develop. For species known for maternal incubation, breeders allow the female to naturally coil around her eggs, providing warmth and protection until hatching. However, some species lack maternal instincts. In these cases, breeders create artificial incubation environments using specialized containers, substrates, and precise temperature controls, effectively mimicking the warmth and security a mother snake would provide. The success of Chinese snake farming hinges on the selection of species that thrive in controlled environments. Popular choices include the monocled cobra, Chinese cobra, oriental rat snake, and king cobra. These species boast several key characteristics that make them ideal for intensive livestock production. Firstly, they exhibit early maturity, reaching sexual maturity quickly. This trait facilitates faster breeding cycles and ultimately leads to increased production rates. Moreover, these snakes boast rapid growth rates which means they progress from hatchlings to market size in a shorter period. This aspect optimizes production efficiency and ensures a steady supply for the market. Furthermore, their high reproductive output is another crucial factor contributing to their suitability for farming. Species with large clutch sizes and frequent breeding cycles significantly enhance farm yields, ensuring a sustainable and profitable operation. Additionally, efficient food assimilation is a notable advantage of these species. Snakes that convert food efficiently require less feeding, thereby minimizing operating costs and maximizing resource utilization. Lastly, these species have undemanding space requirements. Many snake species don't necessitate spacious enclosures, allowing farms to maximize production within a limited area. This space efficiency further enhances the overall efficiency and profitability of snake farming operations. Snake farms in China operate on a spectrum, ranging from small family-run operations with a few hundred snakes to large-scale commercial farms housing tens of thousands. Regardless of size, the primary goals remain the same raising healthy snakes for their meat, selling them to restaurants, and selling body parts used in traditional Chinese medicine. Snake venom could be used as a tool in the fight against coronavirus after early testing on animals. Housing design varies depending on the species and farm size. Some farms utilize individual cages, while others use large, temperature-controlled rooms with specialized flooring and hiding areas to mimic the snake's natural environment. Feeding strategies also differ depending on the species, ranging from live prey like rodents to specially formulated commercial snake diets. Maintaining snake health is also important. Strict hygiene protocols are implemented to prevent the spread of disease, and veterinarians conduct regular checkups to ensure the well-being of the animals. Pioneering farmers like Yang Hong Cheng, often called the Snake King, exemplify the spirit of innovation within China's snake farming industry. Mr. Hong Chang's dedication to research has led to significant advancements in snake diets, maximizing snake health and growth. He's also a leader in perfecting incubation techniques, leading to a dramatic increase in egg survival rates.
This relentless pursuit of improvement has propelled his business to multi-million dollar success, inspiring other farmers to embrace innovation. Now that you know how farmers handle snakes, how is the venom extracting procedure? And is this venom safe? Join us in the next chapter as we dive deeper. The process of venom extraction, often referred to as milking, is a delicate dance between humans and reptiles. Skilled handlers carefully restrain the snake, typically using a combination of techniques. One main method involves using a clear plastic disc to gently guide the snake's body, allowing precise head positioning. Once secured, the snake is induced to strike onto a specialized container, usually a glass or plastic vial. Mimicking a natural bite, the snake releases its venom into the container, where it's then collected for further processing. After collection, the venom undergoes a crucial step, freeze drying. This process, typically conducted at a frigid minus 56 degrees Celsius, preserves the venom's potency and ensures its long-term viability. Interestingly, the frozen venom reveals a surprising range of colors, with Taipan venom boasting a vibrant pink, King Brown venom a deep yellow, and Tiger Snake venom a light yellow. Several techniques are employed for venom extraction, each with its own advantages and equipment requirements. The traditional method involves manual extraction, where the handler skillfully maneuvers the snake to induce a bite on the collection container. Alternatively, some farms utilize electrical stimulation to trigger venom release. Regardless of the chosen method, specific tools are vital. Forceps aid in safely handling the snake. While a sterilized snake hook helps maintain a safe distance, and provides additional control during the process. And now comes the question of ethics. Studies have shown that stress can negatively impact the composition of venom. Therefore, responsible farms prioritize minimizing stress for the snake during the entire process. This commitment necessitates gentle handling techniques, a calm environment, and ensuring the snakes are healthy and well-fed. Furthermore, animal welfare regulations play a crucial role in safeguarding the well-being of these reptiles. Regular veterinary checkups and adherence to strict guidelines are essential to ensuring the snake farming industry operates responsibly and sustainably. The true magic of snake venom lies in its diverse applications in medicine. This potent cocktail acts as a source material for various life-saving treatments. One of the most well-known uses involves the development of anti-venoms. However, the World Health Organization listed it as an NTD after it was estimated that over 400,000 people are left disabled from venomous snake. These life-saving drugs are the only specific treatment for snake bite and venoming. They are produced by immunizing animals like horses or sheep against specific snake venoms. The animals develop antibodies that can neutralize the venom's harmful effects, and these antibodies are then harvested and purified to create antivenom. Beyond antivenoms, snake venom holds immense potential for the development of pharmaceutical drugs. Research suggests that venom holds promise for treating a variety of ailments. For example, certain venom components exhibit pain-relieving and anti-inflammatory properties, making them potential candidates for treating chronic pain conditions like rheumatoid arthritis. Furthermore, studies are exploring the use of snake venom in cancer treatment, with early research showing promising results. The potential applications of snake venom in medicine are vast and ever-evolving, offering an exciting frontier for scientific exploration. China's snake farming industry offers a fascinating example of a symbiotic relationship between humans and nature. The industry unlocks a treasure trove of medicinal benefits by carefully extracting and processing snake venom. However, this success balances on responsible practices that prioritize animal welfare and ethical considerations. 
and now you know how venom is collected. But how does it differ from large scale? How are snakes handled in factories? Join us in the next chapter as we find out. China's snake farming industry thrives on a large-scale processing system that transforms live snakes into various products for consumption and medicine. However, this efficiency raises ethical and environmental concerns that demand scrutiny for a truly sustainable future. Let's delve deeper into the factory harvesting techniques employed in China, the ethical considerations surrounding them, and the potential environmental impact of this large-scale industry. Snake farming in China necessitates the processing of large numbers of snakes for meat, skin, and other body parts. This process, while efficient, involves several distinct steps. The first step is stunning. Prioritizing animal welfare, the first step involves stunning the snake to render it unconscious. This minimizes stress and pain during the subsequent processing stages. Various stunning methods are employed, including CO2 inhalation or exposure to a low-voltage electric current. The chosen method depends on the snake species, farm size, and local regulations. Following stunning, the snake undergoes the skinning process. This delicate procedure often relies on skilled workers using specialized tools like scalpel-like blades or skinning machines. The goal is to remove the skin in one continuous piece, preserving its quality for use in leather goods like handbags or apparel. Once skinned, the snake's body undergoes butchering. Different butchering techniques are employed depending on the intended use of the meat, consumption, or medicinal purposes. For meat consumption, the process focuses on separating muscle tissue from bone and offal. In the case of medicinal processing, specific organs or glands might be extracted for further preparation. While factory harvesting techniques prioritize efficiency, ethical considerations around animal welfare remain a crucial discussion point. Snakes are sentient beings capable of experiencing pain and stress. Concerns exist regarding the potential for inhumane treatment within factory farms. One pressing issue is the crowded and unsanitary housing prevalent in large-scale farming operations. Snakes often find themselves confined to cramped enclosures, which not only induces stress, but also fosters the spread of disease among the population. Moreover, the use of rough handling practices during various stages of processing exacerbates the situation. Improper techniques during stunning, skinning, and butchering can subject the snakes to unnecessary pain and distress, compromising their well-being. Furthermore, there is a notable absence of effective pain management protocols in many farming facilities. While stunning is intended to mitigate pain during processing, doubts persist regarding the efficacy of existing techniques. The industry requires stricter regulations and ongoing efforts to ensure humane treatment throughout the snake's life cycle. Implementing best practices for housing, handling, and stunning procedures is crucial for addressing these ethical concerns. The environmental impact of China's snake farming industry stretches beyond the farm's confines. While snake meat is often touted as a sustainable protein source, concerns exist regarding the industry's footprint. The expansion of snake farms can lead to the destruction of natural habitats. This entire village is dedicated to farming snakes for eating. This disrupts local ecosystems and reduces biodiversity. Sustainable land management practices are essential for mitigating these negative impacts. Also, waste generated by snake farms, including carcasses, blood, and excrement, requires proper disposal. Improper waste management can pollute water sources and contribute to air pollution. And then there is climate change. Like other forms of animal agriculture, snake farming contributes to greenhouse gas emissions through energy consumption, manure management, and the transportation of products. Transitioning to renewable energy sources and adopting sustainable farming practices can help reduce the industry's carbon footprint. 
China's snake farming industry is a complex and multifaceted entity. While it contributes significantly to the economy and offers valuable medicinal resources, ethical concerns and environmental responsibility demand attention. Implementing stricter regulations, promoting humane treatment of snakes, and adopting sustainable practices are crucial steps in ensuring the long-term viability of this industry. By striking a balance between economic benefits, animal welfare, and environmental responsibility, China's snake farming industry can pave the way for a more sustainable future. And speaking of the future, how does the market look for snakes? And from the numbers, should we expect the snake market to grow? Join us in the next chapter as we look into this and the current standings in the global trade. China's snake farming industry isn't just about raising reptiles. It's about catering to a thriving global market for snake products. From delectable dishes gracing Chinese restaurant menus to life-saving anti-venoms, the demand for snakes and their byproducts is a complex and multifaceted narrative. China stands as a dominant force in the global market for snake products. It's a nation where snake consumption is deeply ingrained in the culinary tradition. Restaurants across the country serve an estimated 10,000 metric tons of snakes annually, often stir-fried or incorporated into flavorful soups. This demand is fueled by rising affluence and a government push towards breeding animals for use in traditional Chinese medicine, TCM. Snake venom, a potent cocktail of proteins and enzymes, also plays a crucial role on the global stage. The global snake antivenom market is projected to experience significant growth in the coming years, driven by the massive statistic of an estimated 2.7 million snake bite and venoming cases reported annually worldwide. Antivenom serves as the only effective treatment for these emergencies, highlighting the life-saving potential of snake venom. Snake farming has also proven to be a lucrative endeavor in several countries. Indonesia, boasting the world's highest snake diversity, exemplifies this profitability. This nation exports snakes to various countries, catering to the fashion industry's insatiable demand for exotic leathers. From belts and shoes to jackets and handbags, snakeskin is a coveted material, contributing significantly to the economic success of the snake business. Beyond economics, snakes hold a unique place in Chinese culture. They weave their way into cuisine, traditional medicine, and even folk beliefs. Traditional Chinese medicine, TCM, views snakes as wind-damp herbs, with the power to open energy channels and influence the skin. Historically, snake-based remedies have been utilized to treat a diverse array of ailments, with documented medicinal uses for over 284 snake species. The global market for snake products extends beyond anti-venom and culinary specialties. As we mentioned, the growing anti-venom market reflects a rise in snake bite and venoming cases. This highlights the critical need for increased research and readily available anti-venom supplies in vulnerable regions. However, the global trade of reptiles, including snakes, presents several challenges. The Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, or CITES, serves as the primary regulatory framework, overseeing the international trade of specific species. However, discrepancies in data collection and a lack of transparency often plague the reptile trade, making it difficult to accurately assess the volumes and species involved. Furthermore, the global movement of reptiles significantly increases the risk of disease transmission and the introduction of invasive species, posing a threat to native ecosystems. CITES plays a vital role in regulating international trade, with Appendix 2 listed snakes requiring specific export permits or re-export certificates. This regulatory framework aims to ensure the sustainability of snake populations and prevent over-exploitation. Consumer preferences for snake products vary dramatically across the globe. 
In China, snake meat and snake-derived remedies are deeply ingrained in the culinary and medicinal traditions. The fashion industry, on the other hand, seeks exotic snakeskin for various apparel and accessories. Understanding these diverse consumer demands is crucial for navigating the complex global snake trade. The undeniable rise in global trade has unfortunately led to population declines for many snake species worldwide. To effectively combat this negative impact, we must address the underlying factors driving the trade. Sustainable farming practices, responsible sourcing of wild snake products, and increased consumer awareness are all essential elements in creating a future where the demand for snake products can be met without jeopardizing the well-being of these fascinating reptiles and their vital role in the ecosystem.